Now, Honda just redid the Civic stem to stern for the 2012 model year. Why are they redoing it rather heavily for the 2013? Couple of reasons. The interior was, shall we say, rather Soviet era, and the ride quality was, to be generous, somewhat intrusive. They say they've addressed both of those counts to make this car more competitive in a very competitive field, and they've got to get it right. This is their bread and butter. Let's get inside. All right, now inside you immediately see lots of materials that are more or less soft, not the hard plastic we were greeted with before, the little faux molded stitching. Bezel surrounds these knobs. It's almost getting over the top. Little faux aluminum things around the vents. Overall, they've brought up the level of quality and quality appearance, so this car seems less of a utilitarian transportation appliance. Over here, a button that gives you another insight into what's happening on these cars. Lane departure warning. They've got more driver assistance technologies on Civics now. No change to the powertrains, though, in the new Civic. That means the same 1.8 liter four. You got the hybrid motor, the bigger 2.4 in the SI. Another thing I'm going to wait to check when we get one of these is how they've handled the ride quality. It was very utilitarian before. Nowadays, you've got to have a certain level of compliance. That's just the price of admission. Now, other upgrades happening that you'll find when you're driving one of these is a lot more tech across a lot more trim levels, like rear view camera, Bluetooth hands free, hello, it's the 21st century, Pandora support, even SMS tech support in many, if not all, trim levels. This car will no longer be back of the pack for the tech. It's about time. These are already heading to dealers as we speak, so no waiting to go try one out.